What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be unboxing, demoing, and reviewing the ProtoArc Ergonomic Vertical RGB Wireless Mouse. Now, ProtoArc makes futuristic devices like this RGB vertical mouse, which improves comfort by changing the angle of your wrist, which reduces strain. And this also maintains or improves productivity. And for clarity and authenticity, ProtoArc did send the EM11 to us at no charge. That being said, you can find the ProtoArc affiliate link in the description below. As for this video, it's featured on the futuristic gear and software playlist, so you can find information related to this topic quickly and easily. And as always, we only feature products or services I buy, use, or am interested in, and you can find the ProtoArc EM11 related items and items shown in this video at the Amazon storefront link in the description below. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are with the ProtoArc EM11 and you can see packaging is going to be clean and minimal. And if we flip over to the rear here, you're going to see that we have the EM11 in a minimalist setup. Looks really good here. Contents are going to include the EM11 mouse with receiver, USB charge cable and product information. So let's talk about the EM11, which features functions similar to a standard mouse. So here we are with another angle of the EM11, so you can see its truly unique appearance, which features a fit in art design language. Now we're going to power on this mouse with an off on slider, which is small but workable. And that's going to illuminate our LED indicators. Now you can see the one blinking here, that's going to be our connection type. And if we turn over here, we're going to have our clean, bright RGB lighting, which again is on an arc, which is fitting, looks nice, and is futuristic. Now we can switch between our connection types, which again are going to be right here, by tapping on the button. So first we have receiver, then we have our Bluetooth profile one, and then our Bluetooth profile two. And if we tap again, we go back to the receiver option. Now the nice thing about this mouse is the receiver is stored right here in the mouse itself. And we can actually pull that out. That's going to be right there. And we would simply plug this into a USB port on our computer. Now I tested the EM11 with my HP Omen 16 gaming laptop. And once the receiver was plugged in, the mouse was automatically recognized for use. Now the nice thing about this mouse is it does complement a gaming device like the HP Omen 16. And again, we have our Bluetooth option. So again, we have our Bluetooth Profile 1 and Bluetooth Profile 2. And we can switch to those by tapping the Mode button. There we go, Bluetooth Profile 1, Bluetooth Profile 2. Now, if you are looking to pair this for the very first time, you wanna press and hold that Mode button while on the Bluetooth Profile you would like to use and then it's going to blink rapidly here. That's going to start the Bluetooth pairing process. And then you would just look for the EM11 in your device settings. Now I have the EM11 connected to three devices and I can switch between these three devices instantly. So first we have it connected to my HP Omen 16 game and laptop using the receiver method. You can see if I move the mouse here, we're going to have the mouse cursor in the corner there. Then I can also connect this to my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. You see here, I've got that on Bluetooth profile too. So we're going to switch to that profile. And then just take a look here. You can see the cursor there. That transition is nice and easy. And then I also have this pair to my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. Unfortunately, I can't show that right now because that's the device I record these videos with but I could switch to that. I've got that on Bluetooth profile one. So you can pair three items here and switch between them really easy. I'm going to just do one more quick demonstration. I'm going to switch back to my HP Omen 16. You can see that is quick and easy. So let's talk more about mouse functionality. Now, just like a conventional mouse, we have a left and right button. And if we look at the side view of this mouse, you can see that it has slight travel, it's going to be very minimal and there isn't really going to be an audible click, but these buttons feel good and they work well. Presenting another angle of the EM11, you can see that we can't get a view of the RGB light in at this perspective. Just to demonstrate, there's another angle. You can see the light in there 
and then we turn it you can't see it thought that was interesting just wanted to show that for the video but next we have our scroll wheel so i'm going to pull the em11 a little closer see if we can focus in a little bit better it is textured here it has lines that run across it and when you scroll it it does have somewhat of a bump effect just like other scroll wheels but otherwise it rolls smoothly and we do have a little bit more noticeable clicks compared to the buttons and the scroll wheel is also clickable. Now the scroll wheel is going to be ideal for scrolling through pages, works fine there. And then underneath this we have an LED indicator which isn't currently illuminated but when the battery is low on this mouse this LED indicator will blink rapidly. And then underneath this, we have our color mode button. It's orange, I like that, it stands out. It kind of goes against the whole color scheme, which is really nice. And this gives us four color modes. So if we press on this, you'll see that we have four color options. So we will scroll through them fairly quickly here. And we'll start from the beginning. So first we have our streamer mode, then we have neon mode, then we have breathe-in mode, and then we have our monochrome streamer mode and then we return back to streamer mode now overall the light modes work really well and the button has good travel to it and it also has some good click feedback now i will say the only con here is that once you are in a mode you can't change the color to a specific color you would like for example i can't make this option here just red or blue or green it would have been nice to see that here now there is one more function hidden in this light mode button so as you can see the lighting is currently on right now and i'm going to keep moving the mouse now if we press and hold the light mode button it's going to turn the light in off and if we press and hold it again that turns the light in back on so you don't have to have the light in always on that's a plus here if you're looking to get a break from the rgb light in and then moving on to the inside of the mouse, you can see that we're going to have color-coded orange buttons and they are going to be for forwards and backwards respectively. We can go ahead and do a quick test with the HP Omen 16. So tap forward, that takes us to our forward page and then tap backwards, takes us back to our previous page. Now these buttons also have a little gap right here in between them, so they are easy to fill out. And travel is going to be nice here. We do have good click feedback. Let's test out there. So you have good clicks there on both buttons. Feels really good. These functions work great for obviously this example here, moving forwards or backwards in between pages. Now before we move on, we do have one more feature we need to cover on the EM11. So if we go ahead and flip it over, you can see we're going to have a function titled DPI and it comes with a button. So the question is, what is DPI? DPI essentially allows you to change the mouse cursor speed dependent on the task at hand. So for example, if you're working in documents, you may want a slower DPI. But if you're doing something like gaming, you may want a faster DPI to help you aim faster in a shooting game, for example. So the EM11 comes with three DPI settings that you could switch between. They are going to be 1000, 1600, and 2400. And you would just do so by tapping the DPI button. Now, the question is, how do you know which DPI you are in? So we are going to flip over here. I'm going to try to keep my finger on the DPI button. And if you remember earlier, we have this LED indicator that works for the battery, but it also works for DPI. So if we tap the DPI button, you can see that button is going to illuminate. We get the one there, tap it again, we get two, tap it again, and we get three. So you get a series of blinks. So I'm assuming the first option with the one blink, that's 1,000. Two blinks is 1,600. And three blinks will be 2,400. And finally, we have battery and charging. And the EM11 ships with a 930 milliamp hour battery. Now, as you can see here, the RGB lighting is going to turn off after five seconds of the mouse not being used. And that's going to help us conserve battery as well. And then when it comes to charging, the EM11 doesn't disappoint as well. You can see that we have a USB-C port for charging. Good news there, as USB-C is the industry standard. Now, ProtoArc does recommend using the supply cable to charge the EM11. So we are going to plug in here. 
and you can see that we are going to get a secure connection now there is going to be play as expected compared to other USB-C devices now the one con here is you can't use the mouse with this wired connection that would have been nice because then you would have reduced latency even though the receiver is probably reduced latency over the Bluetooth option already. So how did the EM11 compare to a more traditional mouse? The EM11 is much more inspiring and surprisingly comfortable. The EM11 provides more comfort by changing your wrist angle. So you can see in this hand position here, my wrist is going to be tilted at about 45 degrees because of the way my hand sits on the EM11. And then we have movement of the EM11, which is going to be nice and smooth. It glides over over surfaces so here we are on a desk pad no issues here nice smooth movement I've also tried this on a glass surface works well there as you would expect but all of this is thanks to the five pads that are underneath one two three four five and this protects the underside of the mouse as well as the surface is placed on but it provides that smooth gliding experience and it just feels very comfortable rewarding just nice so to wrap things up, the EM11 is more of an uncommon design, but it's very functional and the learning curve is surprisingly quick. And when it comes to Bluetooth and performance, it has been very reliable. So let's wrap things up. ProtoArc EM11, I really like this device first. It has a very odd look to it, almost sci-fi looking. That is a talking piece there. It's a work of art. Just looks really nice, but it's also functional too. I do find it very comfortable. I do feel like there is less strain on my wrist. And then we have that nice attractive RGB lighting with the different modes. Switching modes is going to be easy here. And you can see that it times out too to save battery after five seconds. That's a nice feature. Now, the only thing I would like to see here is possibly the option to actually choose a color in either of these modes. Say we want this to be red. That would be nice to have. And then we have the performance here. So all the buttons work well. They're easy to reach. And I also like how this mouse glides really smooth on surfaces. That's really pleasing. But overall, I plan on combining this with my HP Omen 16 gaming laptop to help complete my setup. I look forward to using this for improved productivity. And although this design is a bit out of the ordinary, the learning curve isn't too bad, which is why I've been able to use it fairly quickly here. So if you're looking for something that looks a little different, has a sci-fi appearance to it, or maybe just provides a little bit more comfort, I totally recommend the EM11. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the content. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way to show your support is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to show your support is just by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are your ways to vote on whether you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching, and listening to. And as always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out.